Hi everyone and welcome to another video from DisparityPair.com. In this video we'll be talking about used car parts, how to buy them, should you buy them at all and so on. So stay tuned. DisparityPair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DisparityPair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. Now, you may ask yourself, why should you know this? Well, uh, if you're a DIY person, and especially if you drive an older car, buying used car parts uh, can be a good option and sometimes the only option for making a repair. For instance, if you drive an older car or perhaps an old timer, there is a very good possibility that you won't find various parts for your car. Uh, besides that, if you drive an older let's say an older modern car heavily investing in some kind of repair uh, is not economically sound sometimes you simply don't want to give that kind of money into the car and buying a used part is a plausible option for fixing it so these are the two main options why people buy uh, used parts it is because there is a lack of the part or uh, because it is uh, significantly cheaper than the new one What are the best places to buy used car parts? My first and foremost recommendation are junkyards, uh, also known as salvage yards. Salvage yards sounds a bit uh, less harsh than junkyards. And it's not junk, it's salvage. Salvage yards are the gold mines for finding used car parts. Especially if you know a salvage yard that uh, is well organized and where the people who work there know where all the uh, parts are. Perhaps they're already taken off the car and so on. Also, you have the option, at least in my country, to go to a salvage yard where you have a car that's been scrapped and you bring some tools and you take off the parts for yourself, which is, at least in my experience, also a good option. So if you want to really uh, solve your problem, go and visit a good uh, salvage yard. Also know that some salvage yards are organized towards certain car brands or car types. For instance, uh, some salvage yards will keep only Volkswagen, some will keep only, I don't know, GM, some will keep only pickups and so on. Another very good option are dealerships, in a lack of a better term, I don't know what to call it. Uh, at least in my country, there are certain companies who exclusively dabble in selling used car parts, okay? They are uh, well organized and there is almost no difference between them selling the used car parts and companies selling new car parts. So if you have this option in your country, be sure to visit them also. Of course, you have the option of ordering the used part online. What can I say? Almost every country has some sort of popular platform for uh, used car parts. Also a good option if you know exactly what you're buying and it's from a trusted source. As you all know, there is some sort of reserve when buying something uh, online that there might be a mistake. Uh, but you know, it's also a good option if you know exactly what you're buying. When checking the uh, part, look at the overall condition, okay? Again, it's used, it's not new. There might be a few scratches, a few dents or something like that, but uh, disregard uh, minor damages. If you see that it's been through uh, a lot, if there's a damaged thread, for instance, if it's bent, if there's a broken connector, uh, if there's a broken housing or something like that, just return it, okay? Don't buy. Exceptions are if it's a really rare part and you can combine the part that you're gonna buy and the part that you already have to get a good part again. That's the exception. Otherwise, if it's not in a pretty good condition, best not buy it, you'll throw your money away. Also, lots of parts have uh, numbers imprinted on them. Try and find the numbers on the parts. Uh, see if it's original. Lots of original parts have the st stamp of the company on it, the logo of the company and the number part, which makes the comparison much easier and you'll know you're buying the right thing. 
wherever you decide to buy used car parts there is also one more golden rule make sure you can return the part uh, taking in consideration that you don't damage it when installing it okay so wherever you go to the uh, salvage yard uh, to some sort of dealership uh, buying it online do not buy it unless you have the option to uh, return it. When buying, always ask, can I return the part? If the person or the company says no, you can't. Best don't buy it unless you are 100% certain that the part is okay and that you can properly install it on the car. One more important thing I must mention, do not buy disposable car parts. I hope I use the uh, right expression. By disposable, I mean parts that you can easily and cheaply replace and buy. By this, uh, I mean things like don't buy uh, used brake pads, brake shoes, oil filters, air filters, or uh, things like that. For most cars, even for old timers, uh, you can buy them new not to mention the safety factor that all of these things shouldn't be bought and installed used but new. One more used car part that I would recommend not buying if possible are electronic components namely things like sensors. If the sensor on that mileage is damaged on your car there's a pretty good chance that it's damaged on the salvaged car also. Buy the electronic components if you have to, if there's no other option, otherwise best buy a new one. So to make a brief recap, you have a car problem and you need the part. The first thing you should do is see how much a new part costs, okay? If it's too much or if it isn't available, start searching for a used part. When searching for a used part, uh, go visit salvage yards, dealerships that work with used parts, or go online. Uh, try to find a trusted source, try to find a company or people uh, who have already uh, filtered these parts out and are really selling used car parts and not junk, okay? You don't need to pay for junk, you need to pay for a car part. Bring your old parts, go visit them, compare it see if the part is okay if there isn't any damage if it matches buy it ask if you can return it if they say you can then buy the part bring it home install it and if everything is okay the problem is solved to be honest with you there is no replacement for a good and uh, quality new part okay but as i've said sometimes the situation will be that you'll have to do it and when you have to do it try to do it the right way so that's it for this time. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for your time and thanks for watching.